Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and today I'm introducing a new product in our shop, this AC-DC current probe. Now, uh, I've already uh, made a separate video of how these uh, clamp meter type uh, current meters or current probes work. Uh, they are totally different to a standard uh, current measurement uh, which you know from your multimeter. Uh, this here always uh, works with the, the same principle. You have a shunt resistor inside, let's say 10 milliohms, and you have to um, you measure the voltage that is generated by the current flowing through the shunt resistor. And that's the standard way of measuring current. But there's one big or two big disadvantages. First of all, you always have to interrupt your circuit, uh, the current path uh, that you want to measure. And second is you usually can only measure either static DC current or a continuously uh, not changing uh, quickly AC current. Now a current probe um, or a clamp meter works totally different. Um, I've uh, explained uh, the principle of AC and DC measurement with these uh, clamp meters in the separate video. The link will be uh, down below in the comments. And um, uh, I just made the choice not, you get these in two types. The first one looks like a little multimeter. So you get a, a display and you can change it from AC uh, to DC. But this one is just an adapter and that's uh, simply more versatile. And I'll show you in a minute um, where the versatility lies. Now let's uh, first of all describe what you get. You get a little um, artificial leather case. You get uh, two kinds of cables. The first one I already you can see here, uh, this is banana to banana, which is connected here to this um, uh, digital multimeter. And uh, as you can see, I've already turned it on. You have uh, three measurement ranges. The first one goes to um, four amps with a factor of 100 millivolts per amp. Uh, the second range goes to 40 amps and the third range goes to 200 amps. Now, what I already mentioned in the other video is uh, when you want to buy a, such a clamp meter or such a clamp meter current probe, you should watch out for two things. First of all, it should be able to measure DC current because in the electronics world, we usually are dealing with a DC current that we want to know. Uh, and the second is it should go down to the milliamps. So it makes no use if uh, like usual uh, clamp meters that you can buy. Uh, when, you, when you have a measurement range of let's say 400 amps and the lowest resolution, the, the least significant dig digit is just 100 milliamps, so that's not, not much use uh, to make in electronics of these because we don't want to measure power currents in the tens or hundreds of amps region. Uh, we just want to measure in the milliamps region. And that's exactly what uh, this one here does. Now, how does it work? You just uh, open the jaws and I've set, as you can see, uh, from uh, our lab power supply, a current of uh, around nearly exactly one amps. And the first thing you have to do is you have to zero out any offsets. Uh, first of all, there's an offset of the uh, measurement sensor, of the current sensor inside, which is usually a, a Hall effect sensor, also explained in the other video. And the second is you always have stray magnetic fields. At least you have the field of the, the mag magnetic field of the earth. And uh, let's just null it out. And you see it doesn't go back to zero uh, millivolts. We still have a remnant. Well, it's also a bit of noise inside. But if we just turn it, you will see 
it changes. Now it goes to even to minus one millivolt. And that's uh, due to the uh, change of the sensor in the earth magnetic field. And uh, so we zero it out again. And now uh, we know here that um, we have a factor of 100 millivolts per amp. So we should expect with one amp current, we should expect now 100 millivolts. And let's see what we get. We get 101.8. So the accuracy, the stated accuracy is between 1 and 1.5 um, percent and that's exactly what we get. We are in the range of 1.5 percent. If we pull it out again to see how the offset is, if we would now subtract the offset, we are really in the range of uh, 1 percent. So that's uh, quite good. And the lowest uh, resolution is around 10 milliamps. So let's uh, try this out. We set the current uh, down to let's say what do we get here 80 milliamps and now let's see what we get now well we get uh, you if you wonder why we get a minus sign well if we probe the negative um, um, it, it depends uh, not on if you um, probe the positive or negative side, but which way around you put the lead that you are probing. Now you see we get a positive value and we get, let's null it out again before, as good as possible. And we get um, 8 millivolts, which translates to 80 milliamps. So it's um, quite uh, exact down to the milliamps range. And now comes the second uh, important feature, which makes it really more versatile than a um, clamp meter with a digital display. And that is if we connect the second adapter, which you already can see attached to the oscilloscope, we get a BNC adapter. And if we use that, we first of all get no display because I've set the oscilloscope first. At the moment it's down to ground. Now let's change this to DC. And we already get a display, but first of all let's null out. Now, um, you see we get here uh, some noise. Uh, that's simply because the, the uh, Hall effect sensor inside is so sensitive that um, it's unavoidable to have some noise due to the, uh, due to the measurement principle. So um, that's why the uh, measurement with an oscilloscope is uh, mostly useful if we want if you want to see current spikes or a uh, more or less slowly changing uh, current and uh, the stated bandwidth is uh, one kilohertz so it would be best uh, just to um, put a little rc filter still between the current probe and the oscilloscope. So the oscilloscope itself only has this uh, 20 megahertz uh, filter inside, which we can switch on. We don't have a, a still lower um, filter inside. But anyway, um, the nice thing about modern digital oscilloscopes is that you can, uh, is uh, he here with the, um, with the multimeter, you still have to calculate in your head from the from the range factor uh, down um, uh, to the uh, correct uh, amps or milliamps value. But here with a, a DSO, you can uh, let the oscilloscope make the calculation uh, because we have here now set it to a factor of 100 millivolts per amps, or in other words. Um, 0.1 volts per amps, uh, we have a, uh, th this is like a pr 10 times a probe and a second we, we can uh, change the unit, which I already have done, directly to amps 
and not as usual as is usual with volts. Uh, so, and, and now all the readings here, which you probably can't read, but they are immediately calculated in the right uh, way and with the right factor. And now let's null out again the offset and make the measurement again. And we get an RMS value of, it's jumping around a bit due to the noise, of around 75 milliamps. Uh, so you can see the stated uh, accuracy is 10 milliamps and we're inside this uh, 10 milliamps uh, accuracy in the lowest uh, resolution or the lowest resolution uh, is 10 milliamps and um, that's well within specs. So a uh, quite useful and now we can immediately see if we change the current. Let's go to another factor. If we now change our current here with the um, lab supply, we immediately see the change and this is, uh, if it's a faster change, you won't be able to see or measure this um, with a multimeter uh, because it's just too slow for that. Um, so this is uh, quite a universal um, special test and measurement equipment uh, thing. You don't get it, uh, you don't see it very often, uh, but when it comes to measuring changing currents and you don't have the possibility to interrupt your circuit, then as uh, such an AC-DC current probe is really the right uh, and the best way to do it. It's uh, not as cheap as a, a standard multimeter, so it's in the price range somewhere between this uh, cheap Unity and this uh, relatively expensive uh, X-Tech uh, multimeter. Um, but a good addition to your uh, test and measurement um, devices and as I said not found very often and for special measurement situations are quite uh, useful. So that was it for a short introduction to our AC DC current probe. The technical specs and details um, will be available at our shop where you also can uh, buy one. Um, it you as you can see it already it uh, obviously uses some uh, batteries. It has two AA batteries inside, even a low bat indicator. And well, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, uh, give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, here at the M Show, what every maker should have one of. Thanks for watching. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs.